Good morning, friends around the world. Let's begin our meditation this morning as we continue to contemplate the Beatitudes. Let's consider today's reading. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. I have heard this story from my dad many times and have retold this countless times. So if I have already told you this story, please forgive me. I hope that after this meditation, you'll agree that it expands our concept of being merciful. But first, Webster defines merciful as one compassionate or provides relief. Now for Dad's story. Dad grew up in Detroit during the Great Depression in the 30s. His mother and father were immigrants from Brussels, Belgium. Dad's father died a sudden death during that time, leaving my grandmother who spoke very little English, pregnant with four young boys at home. Dad was the middle child and was seven years of age when the Depression started. To say that they were poor would be an understatement. Dad, like his brothers and most of the children in their neighborhood, learned to survive on their own. They were all in search of food. One day, as Dad tells it, he found a gold mine of food. You see, he went to the back of a local restaurant and found that they threw edible food into the garbage can. So dad would rummage through the can of trash and pick out the good stuff and eat it. He told no one about this. Everyone learned to survive on their own, remember? Then one day as dad was going through the garbage can, the owner of the restaurant came out the back door to put more trash in the can and spotted dad. He yelled at dad, what are you doing? Get out of there. Dad was maybe nine or 10 years of age. He really thought that he was in big trouble. But dad was wrong. The owner was indeed upset with him, but not for the reason dad thought. He grabbed the boy by the collar and brought him into the restaurant. He brought him over a plate of food. And dad ate it with gratitude. But something else was going on in that restaurant. Remember, they're in the Great Depression and everyone learned to survive on their own. The owner's wife came out of the kitchen yelling at her husband saying, what are you doing? We can't afford to give food away. Dad hastened through the rest of his dinner and left out the back door. As soon as he got outside, the husband called dad back and made an arrangement with him. The merciful man left dad a plate of food on the top of the garbage can each evening and his wife never knew about it. <laughs> Let's spend the rest of the time we have together this morning and think about this story of mercy. Did my father earn those gracious meals that were given to him each night? Did my father even deserve them? How does this beatitude speak to you? Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy.